welcome to my first video on this site. My name is Rocky Wenz, and I thought I'd try to explain something that's somewhat technical in plain English. As you may know, lots of web hosts now allow multiple domain names to be used on one hosting account. Now this works really well if you want all the domain names you tie to this account to all show the same website. Please note, the domain names I am using here are examples and nothing more. But what if you want each domain to go to a separate website? Well, if you are using GoData, GoDaddy, stop listening to this video because it is automatically done for you. You'll know if it is done automatically when you add a domain to your account. If it also asks what directory to point it to, then you don't need this tutorial. If, however, like me, you use Bluehost.com, this is not done automatically for you. I had to call up support and ask about this. Turns out the answer, however, is moderately easy. To do this, you will need an FTP program or a browser plugin that does FTP, and your web host must be using the Apache web server. Your control panel, by the way, will usually tell you whether Apache is being used by your web host. Most of them do. Also, you will need some text that you will add to the .htaccess file. Now, don't worry if you don't know a lot about .htaccess, I will step you through this. Here is the overall concept. Normally, the one website you run out of one hosting account resides in a folder or directory called public underline HTML, or sometimes it's called www. I'm going to assume that you already have a website, we'll call it foo.com, installed there. So, what do you do with the second website? Simply open the folder in your FTP application and create a subfolder. Since bar.com is going to go there, we will call the subfolder bar. So, bar is a subfolder of public underline HTML, and we need to tell the web server that every time a request for something from bar.com comes in, don't look in public underline HTML. Instead, look in the subfolder named bar. To do this, create or edit a file named .htaccess. Yes, it has a period at the beginning. Odd, but true. You can get the text that you will be adding from the URL on the screen. I will place the link in the description of this video if I remember to do so. If not, yell at me in the comments. This file will be created, or edited if it already exists, in the public underline HTML or www folder. Here is the text that you will be editing and editing. All of the lines that start with a pound sign are comments. The web server will skip these lines. They are just there to help you with editing this. Don't worry if you don't understand the other lines, just make the changes noted in the comments. If your .htaccess file already exists, I recommend adding these lines at the end of the file. In this example, the main domain we are moving is www.bar.com. Notice that you leave off the www part. The subdirectory is bar. Here are the places that are changed. Finally, there is one spot that you change to the main or home page of your site. This is usually index.html, and there you have it. If you created or edited this file on your home com computer, be sure to FTP it back to your web host. Now test to make sure both your websites are working the way you want. A couple notes. The robots.txt file in public underline HTML will be active for both websites. Also, you should never need to type the subfolder bar when entering a URL for bar.com. In my next video in this series, I hope to show what to do about more than two websites on one host, and a simple change that makes each website even more independent from the other. I welcome constructive feedback on this video since I am just getting started in this. Anyway, thanks for watching.